With every ancient artifact that archaeologists recover from the Earth, we add another insightful piece of the puzzle to the historical picture. So while most of these salvaged objects usually help us to better understand the reality of our ancestors' lives, other finds only raise even bigger question marks. We'll now show you which historical personalities, natural structures, and mysterious objects have always been accompanied by almost unbelievable legends. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell to keep up to date with all our future videos. And stick around until the end to learn about a historical mystery you've never heard before. Nampa figure. If you believe a somewhat controversial story, some construction workers discovered a small figure, not even five centimeters tall, while building a well in 1889. The discovery depth of the tiny doll is estimated to have been about 90 meters. The object was made of fired clay and, with its filigree shape, left no doubt that it was made by human hands. The unbelievable thing is that the figure, discovered in the city of Nampa, Idaho, should not have existed at all. In fact, the object was locked in a deep rock layer, the age of which was estimated at a whopping 2 million years. As is well known, there were no people at all at that time. So is this potential proof of time travel the work of an extraterrestrial civilization or just a brazen fake? What do you think of the Nampa character? So far, no one's been able to explain this strange discovery. Some people have suggested that the figure is a fraud and was placed there many years later, but we don't know much for sure. After all, how could something like this have simply been placed there when it required lots of heavy machinery to dig to such an incredible depth? The truth is, we may never know. The Alien Pharaoh when the ancient Egyptian pharaoh Akhenaten came to power, his people were confronted with far-reaching upheavals. So the king forced his subjects to renounce the old deities and henceforth only worship the sun god Aten. Born as Amenophis IV, Akhenaten finally gave himself his world-famous name and dedicated the new capital Akhet Aten to the now most powerful of all gods. His appearance is said to have been no less puzzling than the ruler's bizarre change to cultural norms. A look at the thousand-year-old statues of the pharaoh led us to assume that Akhenaten did not appear like a conventional human being. Thus, the king was often depicted with a strangely large pointed head, disproportionately large almond eyes, and strangely thin limbs. But what was the bizarre appearance of the ruler all about? On the one hand, this may be due to the fact that Egyptian art also underwent radical changes during the reign of Akhenaten. While the previous works had been more idealizing, the depictions now produced seemed almost like exaggerated caricatures. In addition, however, it's also repeatedly assumed that Akhenaten actually suffered from a hormonal disorder that noticeably changed his appearance. In detail, this could have been acromegaly, which is associated with a chronic excess of growth hormones. As part of this clinical picture, the body parts known as acra, such as hands and feet, but also ears, nose, and chin take on unusually large dimensions. Die-hard pre-astronauts, however, have a far less earthly explanation ready in this regard. This parascience is based on the assumption that the ancients were in lively exchange with extraterrestrial visitors. Visitors. The story of Akhenaten takes this already controversial theory even further. The ancient Egyptian pharaoh is said to have been the descendant of an alien himself. What are your thoughts on this almost unbelievable thesis? Tell us in the comments. Kaniska Although the Spartan king's daughter Kaniska is one of the most exciting personalities of antiquity, her story is still not known to everyone. Kaniska is not only a Spartan princess, but also the first female Olympic champion in history. The daughter of King Archidamos II had always had a great passion for horse racing. Kaniska, in the years 396 and 392 BC, was able to secure the Olympic victory with her four-horse carriage. Although 
women were forbidden to actively participate in the competitions. At that time, it was not the riders, but the owners of the horses who were honored for the victories they had won. Since the winning animals belonged to the king's daughter, she ultimately went down in history as a two-time Olympic champion. Secret Cave in the Grand Canyon Around 450 kilometers long, between 6 and 30 kilometers wide, and up to 1,800 meters deep, the Grand Canyon in the north of the U.S. state of Arizona is undoubtedly one of the most spectacular natural attractions our planet has to offer. In view of the fact that the gigantic gorge attracts thousands of visitors from all over the world every year, we shouldn't forget that the world-famous Grand Canyon has also been the focus of wild speculation before. A local newspaper from Phoenix, Arizona reported in 1909 that an ancient Egyptian cave had been found in the middle of the Grand Canyon. From an official historical perspective, however, it could only be a hoax. After all, to the best of our knowledge, no inhabitant of the Pharaonic kingdoms ever set foot on the North American continent. Nevertheless, or precisely because of this, we should take a closer look at the content of the more than 100-year-old newspaper report. According to the story, an explorer was on the Colorado River when he saw a mysterious cave in the cliffs on the banks. Excited by his discovery, the man immediately contacted Smithsonian Institute staff, who took on the ensuing investigation. What happened next is hard to believe. The workers are said to have recovered a whopping 40 truckloads of ancient Egyptian artifacts from the mysterious cave. The walls of the natural cavity are said to have been decorated with hundreds of hieroglyphs. Since this revolutionary discovery would have thrown our entire history into chaos, the Smithsonian Institute staff is said to have immediately tried everything to cover up the sensational discovery. Consequently, all evidence that the ancient Egyptians had once been in North America was promptly destroyed. The exciting stories about the Grand Canyon are also fueled by the rumor that there's a hermetically sealed exclusion zone inside the gorge that no one is allowed to enter. There's said to be further evidence there that the stunning natural wonder was once visited by people we would never have guessed and that they may have spent hundreds of years there. Hidden Chamber in Library it was 2010 when some researchers at the National Library of India in Kolkata made an unexpected discovery. The building in question was originally constructed as a palace in the 1760s and was converted into a vast library in the late 19th century. The purpose of the National Library is to collect, preserve, and disseminate all material printed in India. Shortly after the secret chamber was found there, the first speculations arose as to what prompted the builders to build it. Was it possible that forbidden knowledge was kept there that should definitely be hidden from the eyes of the curious world public? Or was it, as also assumed, a torture chamber in which the pitiful victims had to suffer cruel torments? Another theory is that the secret room was actually a treasury where the British occupiers kept all the treasures they'd stolen from the locals. However, the official explanation for all these gripping theories seems far less spectacular. Neither secret writings nor brutal instruments of torture nor sparkling gold treasures were found in the corresponding chamber. It was empty. The experts assumed this was a simple recess in the basic structure intended to strengthen the foundation of the building. Of course, convinced conspiracy theorists are not so easily fobbed off. If one follows the corresponding assumptions, the researchers in the secret library chamber may have stumbled upon something so terrible that they did not dare to report it to the public afterwards. After all, the rest of the National Library has always been suspected of being haunted by ghostly creatures. Falling books, self-moving furniture, and inexplicable noises are just a few of the many mysterious incidents that are said to have happened there. The Forbidden Temple in the Old Testament, it's written that the Jerusalem Temple is that holy place where God will dwell alongside his people. The problem is that the corresponding building no longer exists today. In fact, the place of worship, which had been an important religious sanctuary for the inhabitants of Israel for a long period of time, was plundered by the invading Romans in 70 AD, set on fire, and finally destroyed for good. 
However, a look back shows that the Jerusalem Temple was not the only building in Israel that became the focus of religious ceremonies. What may not seem particularly spectacular at first glance becomes all the more exciting when we realize what the Old Testament had to say about this. It's written there unequivocally that God had predestined only one Israeli temple for his worship, and that was the structure that was on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. In other words, the people who attended the Second Forbidden Temple rebelled directly against the Word of God. And indeed, in the 1960s, archaeologists managed to recover the remains of this mysterious place of worship in the middle of the desert. Despite the official one temple rule of the era, it appeared that the forbidden structure had been in use for at least 300 years. The Hall of Records the Great Sphinx of Giza has graced our globe for more than 4,500 years. That monumental ancient Egyptian structure, which consists of the body of a lion and the head of a human being, has fascinated mankind for countless centuries. Although the Sphinx is undoubtedly one of the most famous structures in history, the ancient structure still holds many unsolved mysteries to this day. Some people suspect that the Sphinx's head was once adorned with a secret passage leading to a hidden underground city. According to an old legend, however, there's another hidden gate in the immediate vicinity of the Sphinx, which reveals the entrance to the so-called Hall of Records. According to this myth, there's an ancient library that houses practically all the secrets of knowledge of the ancient Egyptians. Other people even assume that the Hall of Records contains the collected works of another civilization that's completely unknown today. Access to this hidden treasure of knowledge is said to be in front of the Sphinx's paws. Although most people dismiss these legends as modern wives' tales, some American researchers wanted to get to the bottom of the exciting tales once and for all. Therefore, the experts dug seven meters deep into the ground in front of the paws of the statue. Although the men failed to uncover a secret tunnel, seismic measurements indicated the existence of chambers beneath the Sphinx. Officially, however, these could simply be natural cavities, since excavations, drilling, and blasting always harbored the risk of damaging the Sphinx, the Egyptian Antiquities Authority prohibited all further research projects. However, once again, we must entertain the idea that they may have canceled these excavations for more obvious reasons, such as them potentially being detrimental to the country's finances. Whatever the true purpose of the Sphinx may be, we may never know. The truth is, there's certainly a lot more than meets the eye when it comes to the relics of ancient Egypt. There's surely a wealth of information and knowledge that's just waiting to be discovered. But for one reason or another, we seem to be forbidden from digging deeper, both physically and metaphorically speaking. We're interested in your opinion. What do you think of the exciting, mysterious, and unexplainable stories we just brought to you? We're already looking forward to your comments. Please give us a thumbs up if you liked today's video. Also, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to never miss another post. Thank you for your interest. Have a good one and see you next time.